Hello, everyone. To say that February 2022 is intense is an understatement. February 2022 is like a volcano, they say, that is about to erupt. I just believe that with all the dynamic permutation and combinations, and with all the planets starting their move forward, life space is sure going to pick up. The highlight of the month is the Venus-Mars conjunction in Capricorn. Venus is all about feelings and Mars action. So take action only if you feel from the heart. The conjunction becomes exact on February 16th when Mars, confident and determined in his exaltation sign, urges the Venus to give in to the feelings and the desires of the heart. We awaken to what the heart truly desires. Take caution, don't be impulsive, as Venus is still awaking from the retrogression and will slowly register the impulses that she's feeling. And these impulses, she will take some time to match with the Mars speed. It will still take two weeks from February 16th. On March 6th, when the conjunction takes place again in Aquarius, you would feel a renewed sense of purpose. Until then, they must meet the king of the underworld, that is Pluto. That is Venus and Mars, till, the, uh, till March 6th, are also meeting the, uh, meeting the planet Pluto, who is the king of the underworld. Now, Pluto is the planet of higher truth. It wants us to be brave and have our hearts in the right place. Our intentions must be crystal clear, stripped of ego. This is not an encounter for the faint of heart. You need to develop your strength of mind, be purposeful, determined, dedicated, and retain your purity of in uh, intent in everything that you do. Please maintain a diary of what you want to do, how you want to do it, and why do you want to do it. Now, if a Venus-Mars-Pluto conjunction was not intense enough, the asteroid Vesta it actually conjuncts them on February 26, 27. The moon joins in for a personal introspection. You need to come face to face with your own impulses and weigh the pros and cons of your actions. Now, Vesta, the asteroid, is the keeper of the et et uh, eternal sacred flame within our hearts, whereas the moon is our soul. So Mars, Pluto, Vesta, Moon, they co-join in Capricorn. So when Mar Venus, Mars, Pluto, Vesta, and the Moon come together, in a uh, this is actually known, or we call it as a ritual of soul purification. That part of us, that is true, that is true, our essence will shine through as Venus and Mars kiss in the morning sky. Things will become crystal clear as to what it is that we truly want. Venus and Mars are in perfect conjunction that time. This discovery may take us by surprise because it may speak about a part of our psyche that we shut down or don't acknowledge much. The sun, a symbol for what's visible and acknowledged, is not a part of the stelium. Everything happens before dawn. It's at night while you sleep, you will experience psychological awakenings through your dreams or emotions. Now, that is why it is said that if you want to get your answers, just experience walking under the moonlit sky and the stars. This February, in fact, you must make an effort to walk under the sky in the moonlit and watch the stars. This night walk is a great way for connecting with the lunar energies. It awakens our creative, desirous parts that drives our psyche, sometimes in unconscious ways. The Venus-Mars-Pluto-Vesta-Moon conjunction urges us to seek within ourselves, go within ourselves as to what we desire and want. We need to create our own happiness by bringing the subconscious and merging it consciously in the outer world. We need to manifest our true potentials consciously. Vesta's role is to remind us that our needs and wants matter, that they are alive, boundless, and eternal, and that we must keep that sacred fire burning within ourselves. 
for that is how we actually get connected to our destiny and realize our true calling on this earth. February 1st, 2022, that is today, new moon in Aquarius. It's at 12 degree. So the new moon is conjunct Saturn and square Uranus. This new moon urges us that we still need to be disciplined and restrictive, especially in regards to health. It's in our hands to be healthy. The good news is that this is the last lunation that features the dreaded Saturn Uranus square. From March onwards, the aspects are more encouraging and they help us to move forward in order to manifest our dreams. On February 4th, 2022, Mercury goes direct. And it goes direct at 24 degree Capricorn. So Mercury stations close to Pluto. So this transit is as intense. If we are to progress forward, we need to monitor our thoughts, do our homework, and ensure that whatever we do not only benefits us personally, but is also useful to the world at large. Of course, Mercury going direct is a great thing, since issues that got complicated or jammed in the last three weeks will finally gain momentum. However, due to Pluto's energy, we should be very mindful, sincere, and whatever we endeavor to do should be done in such a way that we do not harm or step on anyone's toes. Quick rich schemes at anyone's cost will backfire. Make sure whatever you do should be done with a purity of intent and with your dedicated hard work. February 5th, 2022, the sun conjunct Saturn at 15 degrees Aquarius. So sun conjunct Saturn is a serious transit that will test your commitments. How serious are you towards the responsibilities that you have taken? Live for yourself without forgetting your basic duties and responsibilities. They say, fear not, frighten not. A conjunction is also a new beginning. We have one Sun-Saturn conjunction every year, and that's your yearly opportunity to birth a new project. Saturn ensures that whatever you achieve in life is laced with hard work, determination, discipline, and dedication. If you're prepared for putting in your efforts in whatever you take up, rest assured, you will shine and progress. On February 6, 2022, the Mars squares a Chiron. Now, on February 6th, when Mars is in Capricorn and squaring Chiron in Aries, this aspect always triggers our insecurities. With Chiron squaring Mars, we may find it difficult to assert ourselves. We may experience self-doubt, insecure, or be inadequate. It's important that during this period, you must face your truth and gather up your wits about you. Remember, only you can heal yourself. You can transform yourself and be the role model for others to follow. Chiron squaring with Mars indicates that we need to assert ourselves, take actions with empathy, be conscious of how our actions impact others. In fact, this square is so therapeutic that you will be able to overcome your insecurities if you face them head on and do something about it. February 11th, 2022, the Mercury conjuncts Pluto. So on February 11th, 2022, when Mercury is conjuncting Pluto at 27 degrees in Capricorn, the energy of this transit has been building up for more than two weeks. The impact of this final Mercury-Pluto conjunction urges us to be resolute and determined by bringing in clarity to our thoughts and be by being sincere in our actions. The conjunction can be experienced either as an empowering revelation through which we can reform or um, surrender ourselves to the higher truth. You must believe in the saying that the truth will always set you free. February 14, 2022, when Mercury re-enters Aquarius. So if you've experienced some delays or setbacks in the past month, then now you get the impetus to hasten your speed and get your work going. You will discover ways and means to resolve many of your issues. Delays can feel or can be frustrating, but in retrospect, it also teaches you patience. 
spiritually you connect with your higher energy and realize that there's always a good reason behind the delays. Patience is a virtue. February 16th, 2022, the Venus conjuncts Mars in Capricorn. So on February 16, 2022, when Venus is conjuncting Mars at 16 degree Capricorn, this is a peak in the journey of Venus and Mars together. One experiences the pros and cons of their words and actions and realize how fruitful it is when, you, when one connects with your heart. The journey that we take inward together within ourselves, that means your feelings and actions, it actually uplifts us spiritually. Venus and Mars will continue together for a few more weeks. The clarity that you get in relationships help you understand its worth. The strong ones carry on, whereas the weak ones absolve. By paying close attention to what happens at the time of the conjunction, you get more clarity of thoughts pertaining to people and events. This will waken something deep inside you. You may become aware of something that is very important to you. And suddenly everything makes sense. February 16th, 2022, full moon is in Leo. So on February 16th, 2022, when we have a full moon at 27 degrees Leo, this full moon is quincunx Pluto, inviting us to shed what's no longer vital and to find creative ways to express ourselves. Believe in our talents, our dreams, and showcase our potentials. Never compromise with your own values or do things for others at the expense of who we are. There's never either or me versus them. We can always find a middle ground if we look hard enough. February 18th, 2022, the sun enters Pisces. So on February 18th, 2022, when the sun enters Pisces, after a challenging Aquarius season, when we've been mostly in our minds, the Pisces season is an invitation to get in touch with your emotions. This is the last leg of the solar cycle that began on March 21st, 2021. Now we begin a new solar cycle. So until then, take advantage of the Pisces season to let go of what no longer serves you. Keep only what you can't leave behind. February 26th and 27th, 2022, there is the Capricorn stellium. On February 26th and 27th, 22. The moon joins Venus, Mars, Vesta, and Pluto to form an intense, passionate stellium conjunction in Capricorn. So the Venus, Mars, Vesta, moon, Pluto encounter is so intense that transformation is inevitable. By the time Venus and Mars are out of the underworld, which is on March 6, 2022, you will no longer be the same person you were before you began this journey. So if your planets are between 23 and 28 degrees of Capricorn, Cancer and Aries, you will experience this energy at an even more intense level. Get connected with your natal charts to understand which are the houses or sectors of your life affected. Take note of the planets situated in these signs and pave your way successfully, calmly and patiently by being mentally prepared and becoming the person you always wanted to be. After all, life is in your hands. Shape it and be an architect of your fate. Till my next, stay blessed.